it's, uh... <gasps> Sorry I'm late. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I'll be the only kid not performing. How am I gonna explain this to my parents? I'll talk to her. Betty! <gasps> I tried getting Penelope to change her mind about you performing, but... I'm sorry. She said no way. That's okay. Look, Noah, I need you to get me backstage. Um, Penelope, I was thinking. Yes? Do you need more lipstick? It would make a bigger impression. <gasps> Excuse me? For your photo shoot for the school paper. They're sure to be here. Hmm, good point. I have gloss in my locker. Ready for my photo op? <laughs> Practice? Hey! Let's go in the mirror maze and see if we can find our way out. Here we are. Now be careful, because the mirror maze guarantees that someone will get lost. Well, I'm not going to get lost. Me neither. Why don't we make a bet? Whoever gets lost buys lunch. You're on. Pretty trippy, huh, Betty? This place isn't that confusing. My mom's cat could find his way out of here. Oh, yeah? Well, see if you can beat me out then. No problem. Betty! I found the way out first. If you can find your way out, I win. Betty? Betty? Betty, where are you? Uh, she must be lost. Betty! Excuse me. I think my friend is lost. Oh, don't worry about it, Sonny. He's the fourth one today. We get a special bonus if we lose four or more. Come on, we'll find her soon enough. There she is. Hey, Betty, where you been? I've been looking all over for you. I guess I got lost. Yeah, I must have got lost. Ha! Huh, what did I tell you? Somebody always gets lost. You're number four, so I get a bonus. I think I owe you lunch. What do you want? Sushi? Burgers? How about tacos? Tacos? <laughs> yeah. Spicy taco sauce. You'll love it. Then Mom started back combing Percy's whiskers. Can you believe it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Penelope. Thanks, Penelope. Mm. That's your lunch. <laughs> some doggy biscuits? Just a brownie for Noah and I. Very yum. Huh. We'll see about beetle dung. Gives them their flavor. Touch of worm, some space slug, and those things that look like pecans. Hello? Hi, Betty. It's Noah. What time should I pick you up? How about seven? Great! I can't wait! Hmm. I mean, that's cool. I'll be there right at 7. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Noah. Bye, Betty. Uh, Betty? It's Noah. Are you ready to go? Uh, just a minute. <gasps> Come in. Wow. Quite the, um, outfit. Thanks. So, um, after you. Wait! I can't let you go. But, Mom, my room is clean. Of course it is, honey. But I can't have you leave the house without taking your picture first! Oh, brother. I am so excited! Your very first date. Date? <gasps> what? What date? It's not a date. You're embarrassing Noah. No, she's not. Shh. Now, stay close together and... Cheese! Betty, I need you 
need you to watch Harold for a couple of hours. It's an emergency. My aunt's coming over and my mom won't let me keep him in the house. Frogs creep her out. Okay. You're a pal. Thanks, Betty. Hmm. No. Vesuvia 12's rings still aren't quite right. Blunk and Duncan Payne, report to the penalty box. Uh, room 3B for detention. Hmm. Again. So, what's your science project on? It's a cross section of the planet Vesuvia 12. I think I have a real chance of winning this year. I just have to prime the volcano with a little helium. Hmm. Noah, um, could you turn off the helium valve in about five minutes? Uh, sure, totally. I'm on it. So, according to chaos theory, one small event can influence the outcome of a much bigger event. One person can change the course of history. The end. Good, Noah, but, uh, where's the passion, Tiger? Science is about surprise. Uh, um... What do we have here? Um, that's Betty's project. She just stepped out for a moment. I'm sure she'll be right back. I'm coming! Get ready for something amazing. The Mysteries of Vesuvia 12. Sorry about not turning off the gas. It's okay. Not too much harm done. It's just past the Lobster Nebula. It is my duty to act as a referee. You know, like in a hockey game. I make the call and give the offending player, I mean student, a suitable penalty. Uh... I mean punishment for the offense. Thank you, Principal Peterson. Anytime, son. What's up with the camera? I'm making a film. A day in the life of Moose Jaw Heights. It's for an extra credit in art class. Hey, give that back! I just paid for it! Wicked action scene! <laughs> Look out! I would have been a goner if Betty hadn't blocked that shot! Well, uh, instant replay can oftentimes give a uh, better perspective on a, a difficult call. You're dismissed. No goal! Stuck in pain to the principal's office immediately! All this food flying around and I never got to finish my lunch. Well, it just so happens that I found this flying around. Thanks, Noah. You're the best. Oh, I hate Jim. I hate running. Think of it as a math problem. You can do it. Just focus. <laughs> I don't think so. Some are winners and some are losers. You two are losers. Uh, Everybody on the line for the start. Remember, you have to finish to pass the term. <sighs> I'm never going to make it. Get set. What did I say? Losers. This is a math problem. I can't see her. Betty must be way ahead. Everything's so easy for her. Have you seen Betty? Come on, Noah. You can do it. Tenth place, but I did it. That's great, Noah. Where were you? Did you get lost? I went backwards when I should have gone forwards. <laughs> it's not funny! <laughs> Don't you dare laugh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd like to take these books out, please. I'm afraid you won't be getting any books with that card. You do, however, get one phone call. Hello? Um, Betty, it's me. 
Uh, you know that library book I lent you? Did you return it? Oh no, I forgot! She forgot. We take late books very seriously around here, young man. They won't let me leave! I'm on my way. It's closing time. <sighs> oh, I guess your friend doesn't want you to go home! Wait, please! It's time for you to be checked out. Sorry I'm late. Betty! I believe you've been waiting for this. Hi, Betty. What's with them? I mean, we're winning, aren't we? Maybe you'd be more popular off the court if you passed the ball a bit more on the court. It's a team thing. The buzzer. Everyone back on! I've, uh, gotta go. What about the second half? Let the other girls get the glory for once, right? It's a team thing. But it's a championship, Betty! <laughs> we don't need that ball hog. I can lead the team just fine. Whoa! We need the ball hog. <laughs> what? We're still winning. <sighs> Maybe the chess team could use a water boy? <laughs> yeah! Hey! You learned to pass the ball! Yeah! Problem with teamwork is, you can't always pick who's on your team. Penelope's ball. Yeah, well, I was gonna catch it for her. Oops, now that you know I like Penelope, I'm gonna have to nerd bash you. Ooh, if you promise not to nerd bash me, maybe I can get Penelope to go out with you. Yeah? Why should I believe you? What do you know about girls? A lot. I've studied them. Did you ever notice how girls always go to the bathroom together? Yeah, you're right. Okay, me and Penelope tonight. Or else. Ah! I've just promised Duncan I'd get him a date with Penelope. You have to help me. Are you crazy? You know Penelope hates Duncan. <laughs> oh boy, I'm dead meat. Hmm, there may be a way. Tell me, I'm desperate. I know, give Duncan a makeover. I'm so dead. Penelope is shallow. She'd probably go for a guy who looks hot. Dress him up, make him look less like a galactic gob beast and more, you know. <gasps> more what? Human, I gotta run. Catch you later. But I don't know anything about doing a makeover. Where do I start? It's pink and girls love pink. What do you say? I say, you have two seconds to get me out of pink before you're black and blue. Oh, boy. To Roman? A bit. Where's Betty when I need her? Okay, it's not enough to dress cool. You have to act cool. Like this. Now you try. Right! That's cool! Penelope will be putty in your hands! She better be! Betty! Over here! How did you make out with Duncan? He should be here any minute. I couldn't wait for you to help me, so I did his makeover myself. I taught him everything I know about girls. Noah, you don't know anything about... Look! Here he comes now! I personally chose Duncan's wardrobe for the evening. <laughs> oh, what a clown! <laughs> I don't know. I love that pirate shirt. It's so, like, 
Johnny Depp. And those pants, they make you look so much older. Yep, definitely a strange universe. Is it safe to come out yet? Wait a minute. Noah, hi! Ooh, great jacket. That color really suits you. Did you hear that? Penelope was actually nice to me. She must want something. So, Noah, oh. have I ever told you how great I think your essays are? Um, no. You don't speak to me, Penelope. Remember? Oh, that's the past. We're friends now. That's why I was wondering if maybe you could help me with my essay as a friend. Oh, I get it. If you do it, you'll be invited to all the cool parties. And I'll agree to talk to you in public, uh, two minutes per party. You don't want to be a loser all your life, do you? Okay. You've got a deal. Excellent. You're right. I'll talk. Hmm. Let's see. Well, the first week of summer, I bought this fabulous little purse. And then my mother took me to Palm Springs. Noah, wait up! You're being tricked. Penelope's just pretending to be your friend, so you'll write her essay. I know. You do? Yeah. But that's great. So you didn't write it? Actually, I did. So, who would like to read their essay first? Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, okay. Penelope. How I Spent My Summer Holidays <laughs> by Penelope Lang. This summer, I had a secret job at Burger Princess. <gasps> Go on, Penelope. It was excellent. I, I loved cleaning out the deep fryers and emptying the garbage. But best of all, I loved my brown polyester uniform! <laughs> now that's what I call good writing. I want to be Winter Carnival Mayor! You gonna vote for me? Are you kidding? <laughs> he wasn't kidding. Vote. Duncan, you will store! His uncle owns a candy store! Noah! Duncan's such a jerk. You should run for Carnival Mayor, Betty. I don't think so. I'll do it. I can't promise you free candy. <laughs> I think you need a more persuasive argument. I want to make the Winter Carnival more fun! That's it! And here is my campaign manager to tell you all about it. Noah! Um... Longer library hours? Oh. Here is your new Carnival Mayor! Why would you vote for this caveman wannabe? I get half the candy he gets from his uncle, and we plan to share it with anyone who votes for Duncan! Yeah! Yeah! Right. Betty, where are you? Sorry I left. I can explain. Let me guess. You figured that when you run for Carnival Mayor, the smartest thing to do is to abandon the campaign. That's how you win. You mean I won? Of course not. You weren't here! I was being sarcastic. <sighs> Duncan won. Here's a little gift from me to you. You're giving him presents? I figure he deserves it. Mr. Colville likes my newest watercolor. He's got such a nice smile. Don't you think? I've seen better. I will be your substitute. Today is... I will come around and offer criticism in the faint hope that one of you might actually produce something of artistic merit. No! I want to see passion! Where did you go? To a pony farm. Then show me the conviction. Make me feel the pony! Useless! You are exp 
expressing real joy, a sense of vitality. What do you call it? The cloth I wipe my brushes on. This is my painting. Useless. Hmm. Sorry, I was looking for inspiration. But the assignment was to paint something you saw on your last trip. Trick or treat. <laughs> wow, great bot suit. I'm a galactic guardian. Cool. How'd you come up with that? Oh, I just made it up. Come on, let's go before all the good stuff is gone. I love Halloween. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. First, we rake in the goods on both sides of the street. Then we head to Mr. McPherson's Halloween ride. What's the theme this year? I hear it's top secret. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Very funny, you big jerk! <laughs> I hate that. He pranks me every year. Well, this year I'm gonna scare him back. Um, I wasn't really scared, you know. <gasps> What's that? Nothing. Part of my costume. I <sighs> need to fix it. You start without me, I'll catch up. Hey, Betty. Who are these guys? Um, these are my cousins. Greetings, fellow robot. Why are you talking like that? Robots talk like this. <laughs> I do not talk like this. Yeah, that's more like it. Say I wanted to get some of your Earth candy. How would I do it? My cousins are from out of town. Just go to a door and say trick or treat. Huh? I've got to go. I'm planning a big prank for Duncan. Hmm. Very impressed with your ride. It's so realistic. Yeah, the whole alien thing is cool. <laughs> You have to get off that, um, ride. You're in extreme danger. Oh, right. Extreme danger. Take evasive action. Robots do not speak like that. <gasps> Would you leave my controls alone? <laughs> my family went to Space World last year. The ride there was way better. <laughs> You Earth children are impossible! Hold it right there, Chameleon! Hand over the brain or the Scythians will blow us all up! Ha 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 ha! Gotcha, Bane! You were pranked! <laughs> Sucker! <laughs> Where is the President's brain? Jeez, Betty. That space dialogue was so cornball, but the effects, very cool. Trick or treat! No, find Betty. I'm dying out there. Good news! I found Betty. Quick, slip this in. All right! Another day over. Do you have a lot of homework? Not so much. <gasps> oh no! I brought my top secret Atomic Betty diary to school by mistake. Phew! Lucky no one saw it. They'd know I was a galactic guardian. Did you say something about a diary? Uh, what? No! <gasps> this looks interesting. <gasps> Noah, I gotta go. Get my diary back before Penelope reads it. Promise me, please. Okay, I promise. Jeez. Come on, Penelope. Give the diary back. It's rude to read someone's private stuff. Yeah, but it's fun, especially when you read it out loud to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Penelope. Give back the diary and, and I'll give you my dessert for a week. I'm on a diet. <laughs> I'll do your homework for a month. Megan already does it. Loser. Give it back, or I'll never talk to you again. Ooh, now that's tempting. But pales in comparison to reading all 
Betty's little secrets out loud. Where is Betty anyway? I'll bet she's under her bed, ready to die of embarrassment. <laughs> I tried to get it back, Betty, but she won't give it up. It's still locked. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ha, ha. oh, no! Those stories sound cool, even if they are all fake. Right. Uh, fake. <laughs> Whew. I didn't even get one lousy valentine. Um, Betty, I know someone who's got one for you. Really? Who? Um... Is it Dylan? <laughs> <laughs> I expect he wants to get me something special. Something deserving of moi. Like what? A snake? <gasps> Where did all these cards come from? Ha! They're fakes. You sent them to yourself, loser. Thanks. That was real cool of you. You want a soda after school? My treat. Sorry for being late, but I wanted to get something special. So, do you want to go out for a pizza after school? <sighs> uh... I can't believe you said no to Dylan. I had to. I already made plans with my best friend. I almost forgot. Happy Valentine's Day, Betty. <laughs> Thanks, Noah. <laughs> it's a little soggy. As usual. I'm late. I know. I can explain. No, let me guess. You forgot your homework. Had to return a book to the library. No, no, no wait. I got it. You were abducted by aliens, right? Uh... <laughs> right. Aliens. Come on, Noah, let me make it up to you. Alien Leeches 4 is playing at the theater. It'll be my treat. I heard that movie's wicked. Deal. Um, I've just got to run home and get my allowance. I'll meet you in front of the marquee at 4, okay? <sighs> right. Don't be late. I've been waiting for this to come out since Alien Leeches 3, The Draining. Hey, Noah. Always go to the movies by yourself? I'm waiting for Betty. She should be here any second now. You mean no show, Betty? Yeah, we'll catch you later. After it's over. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry I'm late. I had a good reason, though. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear another one of your stupid stories. It's just that... I wanted to get you something special for the movie. Wow. Is that a new candy bar? There's another showing in half an hour. We can still go. I'm buying. You didn't get a ticket? When my father's getting me a backstage pass. Really? That'd be great. <laughs> There's the beep that means I I've got to call my dad about the tickets. Bye. <laughs> yes, yes. Penelope Lang will be meeting the Missy Miss tonight. Aww. I knew it wasn't true. Actually, we don't have front row tickets either. I... No! Oh, Betty! It's a ticket to the Missy Miss concert. Yes! Cool. It's like a dream come true. Well, not exactly. Hi, Noah. Well, that's what happens when you eat corn. I should know. I'm a vegetarian. Are you guys vegetarian, too? No way. I like meat. But not too much meat, because it's bad for my digestion. You're a vegetarian? That's great. Hey. <coughs> Did Dylan say gluten kebab with tofu extras? <laughs> that's what happens when you talk with your mouth full. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm going to go set him straight. Come on, Noah. Don't let gym class get you down. I'm tired of being the water boy. It's like I don't even exist. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> the basketball jocks get all the respect. I just wish I could play like them. Why didn't you say so? Uh, well, I'll never be able to play like that. Not even in a theoretically possible fifth dimension. All you need to do is practice. 
I'll tell you what, you practice, I'll go. See you later. Hey, kid. Was that you playing just now? Um... If I could really use a shooter with your talent on the team. Uh, yeah, that was me, Noah. <laughs> to the fact that none of your teammates like you get you down. You go out there and win one for the team, Noah. You can count on me, coach. I won't let you down. <laughs> you can do it, Noah. Just remember, focus and shoot. Uncle Charlie. Uh, you like horses? Sure do. When can we go riding? Whenever you want. Uh, I just got a few chores to do first. Yeah. Horses need feeding. <laughs> oh. You want some help? I mean, it's only a bale of hay. We can do that. <laughs> Loaded up in the barn, then giddy up! They must need me. Noah, I have to, um, call home. Make sure Percy's okay. Don't be long, those horses won't wait all day. Yeehaw! Right. <laughs> Phew, all finished. Now can I ride the horses? Well, of course you can. I just gotta do a little shoveling while you have all your fun. Oh, if you want, I can do that. You're a good boy. I sure hope Betty gets back soon. Good news, Noah. The horses have finished eating. Giddy up! Wait, what are you going to be doing while I have fun? Me? Uh, I'm just going to be washing Fluffy. Fluffy? Well, if that's all... I don't mind washing a little kitty cat. Good boy, Fluffy. <sighs> Easy boy. Betty, where are you? Uh, Noah, I feel bad that you had to do all those chores while I was gone. But we can go horseback riding now. You two go. Uh, I just have this one more chore to do. You ride. I'll do it. I mean, how long could it take? Betty! I think I'd rather be with the pirates. 25-inch deck, custom paint job, and dual suspension. Radical! You gonna enter the competition, Betty? I really need a new skateboard. Do you think I could win? <laughs> On that piece of junk? No way! Go home! Where do I sign up? I'm not having Penelope or anyone telling me where or when to go. I have to go now. Save me a spot. <sighs> that girl ducks out so much she needs her own exit ramp. You're not gonna compete, are you? I'll do as good as anybody. Oh, yeah? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Next contestant, Betty. Betty, report immediately for your turn. Oh, no. It's too late. 
for tomorrow. <laughs> Not like I'm writing a love poem. No way. <laughs> <gasps> Your bracelet's beeping again. You should get that fixed. I think I will. See you later. Jolly. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> hey, it's signed. You read it. I can't. My hands are so dirty, I smudged the name. Do you know who wrote it? Come back here! You are so dead! Duncan wrote it about Penelope? <laughs> I guess when you like someone, you can act real silly. There he is! A place in space now. Um... Me as Santa Claus. Ugh, oh, this is so lame. Thank you for volunteering to dress up, sweetie. The children love it. Oh, no! I think it looks good on you. It covers up your face. Aww. Cheer up. It'll be over soon. Here he is! <laughs> the man we've been waiting for all year! Santa Claus! <laughs> Do a traditional elf dance. Santa's not here yet. But one of his good friends is. Wait! What's that? Is that Noah the reindeer? Would somebody get me down from here? Sorry, Noah. It took me forever to get up that chimney. I hope I wasn't too long. It's okay. I was just hanging around. Surprise! Surprise! Huh. Huh? Huh? Oh. Sorry. 
It's just me.